one. Let's take a look at it really quickly. Uh, C1 and C2, let's come back to that. But I want to show you images so that you guys... Oh, do you see a heart? Oh, I see a heart. Here's the pattern. This is so fast. I see a heart and maybe a leaf on top of the heart, something pretty and fast. What do we have right there? Heart. So I know that it's thoracic, right? Where do you have the heart? Inside of the chest cavity, which is thoracic. So this is thoracic vertebrae. Let's go down. Keep going down. Let's look at the massive. Look at this guy. He looks like he's a sumo man with like um, one of those pointy hats on, like the samurai hats that you, you wear. The samurai hats, but he's a sumo man. I don't know. Make something up. So we have huge body. What's the whole purpose of having a huge body? So this one is a tiny little body. We'll look at it again. This one has a medium-sized body. This one has this huge, massive body. What's the whole point of getting massive or this, this increase in size of the body? The whole point of the vertebrae is to support the weight from above. So this vertebrae has to be larger. Um, think of it this way. If you have a cheerleading squad, do you put the 300 pounder at the top as your flyer and then the 20 pounder on the bottom as the person holding up the 300 pounder? No, you don't, right? You do the reverse. You put the small guy on the top, the large guy on the bottom to support for base. So let's go back and take it slow. We have cervical vertebrae and this is the standard, but there are two exceptions. If you have ever heard of Atlas, who is Atlas? Atlas held the world on his shoulders and he spun on an axis. So Atlas held the world on his shoulders and spun on an axis. Who's the world? In this case, the world is the skull, right? It's the weight of the world, the skull. And axis, oh, Atlas had two platforms that allowed for the knuckles of the head to move forward and backward and pivot on it. Now, what did he spin on? He spun on an axis. So C1 is called atlas. That's the first cervical vertebrae. C2 is called axis. And what he has is he has this thing called the dens. And it allows you to pivot or spin on it. Right? So the combination between C1 and the skull allows you to say, a okay. That means yes. A okay means yes. And this is the mnemonic to help you remember it. Atlanto, atlanto occipital joint is the connection between the C1, also known as atlas, and skull, that portion in the back called the occipital. And then what about if there's a yes, there must be a no. So no is also rotation. So we say, uh uh uh, you can't do that. Uh uh uh. However many A's you want to do, just remember the first two. So it stands for at lanto C1, axial C2 joint. And it is a pivot joint that allows for this motion, rotation, and pivoting.